For now, let's get to the Blake Chapin package on how they got here. It feels great. Like I said, something you dream about when you're when you're a kid growing up. Blake Shapin did his growing up just six hours from New Orleans, the site for the 88th All-State Sugar Bowl. The Shreveport, Louisiana native was a star athlete in high school, excelling in football, but also ranked as the number one shortstop in the state. His skill set in baseball, we used to say he was a grown man playing among boys. Joe Hewlett was Shapin's assistant baseball coach at Evangel Christian Academy, where he attended high school. It's where the Baylor hero built his legacy. He actually broke his wrist in football his senior year. He got his, his, his doctor to clear him to hit fungos to infielders left-handed. Uh, my older brother, who's our hitting coach, came running over to me and asked Blake, like, have you done that in a game before? And he's like, no, not really. And they grabbed him and took him down the cage. And, and two nights later, he hit third for us and actually uh, was one of the top hitters in the state left-handed, even though he'd never done it. With that kind of athleticism, Shapin had a fair share of offers. From Arizona State, USC, UCLA, and Baylor, he chose the Bears. Intending on playing two sports, he was listed on last year's Baylor baseball spring roster, but his focus has shifted. Uh, right now it's football, so I'm not really worried about baseball. We still got a bowl game to get finished. The full switch to the pigskin is wise. Coming from a high school that has produced the most NFL players from the state of Louisiana, according to Hewlett. Despite the change, he still has a baseball family rooting on the Bears from more than 300 miles away. For him to have the level of success he's had already, it just the sky's the limit, and, and we're, we couldn't be more proud or more happy for him.